Hello, this is Brett Longsdale from Lightning Tools and I'm using BCS Metaman to show you how to connect to Oracle using no code whatsoever but using our BCS Metaman for Windows tool. Using BCS Metaman for Windows couldn't be easier. You can connect to all sorts of different external data sources. You can connect to Microsoft SQL Server which granted you can do the same using SharePoint Designer as well. Um, you can also though connect to data sources such as ODBC data sources without having to write any code whatsoever. So we cover things like Microsoft Access, MySQL, Firebird, Infomix, and so on. You can also connect to OData, which you can do without having to open up Visual Studio and write any code. Uh, you can also connect to a WCF web service, but in this demonstration, what we're going to do is connect to an Oracle database. So using BCS Metaman, I've already populated the server name, my username, and password. And what I'm going to do is just click this uh, execute button, which will provide me with a list of tables and views available within inside that Oracle database server. So as I scroll down, we'll see all the different tables. And what I'm going to do here is just connect to some test data. And what you'll see is I've got a demo customers table, which I'm just simply going to drag and drop onto the design surface on the right hand side of my page. Now if you're familiar with business connectivity services, you'll know that you need to create several different methods. And these methods are things like the finder method, which returns all of the columns and all of the rows of data. And that's used for displaying the data inside the external list and also some of the BCS web parts as well. We've also got the get uh, single um, customer here, which is my specific finder method. And that's used in several different places. It's used in the uh, search results. So clicking and opening a single row in a profile page, also being able to select an, uh, a single row inside an external list as well. We've got the ID enumerator method, which is used for the search indexing of this data, so you can search that data via a search site. And then also with inside the external list, if you wish, you can create new items, update items, and delete items by simply selecting these creator, updater, and deleter methods. So all I had to do there was simply just highlight the methods that I want to create. And if we were to do that in, Vi in Visual Studio, you'd literally have to type lots of code in order to achieve the same. So now that we've done that, we could give this uh, a different name if we wanted to. Um, I can also select my identifiers, although that's already been done for me. Uh, I'm gonna hit create. And upon doing so, that's created the external content type with everything set for me on the design surface. Now, one of the other things I'm gonna show you is how to build an association between two external content types. So what I'm going to do now is just simply scroll down and I'm going to drag and drop the demo orders table onto the design surface this time. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to simply select some of these methods that I want to use and then hit create. Now within inside SharePoint Designer you can build associations as well but they're not within say, inside the same model file. Um, and you certainly can't do it for Oracle. Uh, so using BCS Metaman, I can simply drag and drop an association between my two external content types and set the primary and foreign keys, which in this case is the customer ID. So once I've set that primary and foreign key, I'll hit create, and that's built an association for me. So that I know that I'm bringing back the right data, one of the new features of BCS Metaman is the ability to preview the data. So I can simply preview the entity data here and, uh, and check what sort of data is gonna come back before I go any further and complete my model. Uh, that would just make sure that I am actually looking at the right table. Uh, so we can do the same here as well for the orders table and see the order information that's gonna be coming back for us. Also, we can right click each entity and choose configure entity and that allows me to go through and do several things. We can set some of the properties, such as the title column. We can set the office type, so how this uh, data is gonna behave inside uh, Microsoft Outlook. Um, we can also go through and uh, modify our methods. So the, here's the finder, specific finder, ID enumerator method, et cetera, that we, uh, we created earlier on. And uh, if we want to, we can add more. So uh, it might be, for example, beneficial to have more than one finder method so you can have different views displayed inside SharePoint. 
So we can uh, add more methods or we can also select existing methods. And upon selecting existing methods, you'll notice that we've got the likes of the show and picker control. So when you're going to use this data inside a SharePoint list or library and you want to look up the data, you can uh, show this column inside the picker if you want to. Uh, it's also possible to add filters. So clicking on to add filters, we provide you the ability to create limit filters, uh, which are often required if you've got a lot of data, um, but also wildcard and comparison filters as well. So they can be set easily again without having to write any code at all. So now that we've uh, we've generated this, what we're going to do, I just click cancel since I didn't change anything there. I'm going to go to the uh, the settings tab and under settings it's possible to just simply go through and set the model file name that we want to generate um, and also set the uh, the lob system name the lob system instance we can specify whether this is for SharePoint 2010 or 2013 and we can also deploy the model directly to SharePoint if we want to as well okay so uh, all we have to do once we're happy with that is either hit generate or hit deploy depending on what we want to do and what I'll do is I'll just give this a model file name of Brett and we'll uh, hit generate okay and it's created brett.bdcm on my file system so what I'll do is just have a look at that file system So we'll right click, just simply rename this for a moment, and I'm going to rename that to .txt so we can have a look at it. And I'll open that up, and you can see here that I've got my generated external content type for both of those tables with the association as well. Okay, many thanks.